What's up, Bubble Power Ass Crew? Today's video, we're looking at step bits or uni bits or whatever you want to call them. Those of you who don't know what they are, do you know what that is? That's right, that's a drill bit. But this step bit is actually multiple drill bits in one. You've got, like right here, I need to put my glasses on. 3 16 quarter inch, 5 16 3 8 7 16 and half inch all in one bit super handy so why this a handy well simple as you see you got multiple drill bits in one solid bit so if you've got to drive you know you got a quarter inch hole here and a 5 16 hole here drill a quarter inch drill a 5 16 one bit don't have to keep changing them out makes life much easier now you can use them as thin sheet metal heavy metal and the heavier metal stuff will be where's the bit now after times when you buy these bits you can buy them a free pack like this and you see the small diameter right here goes down to a half inch on this one. This one goes to a three quarter inch. But also you want to look at your steps. See the height of them here? Now this right here would be good for drilling down into like three sixteenths plate. Because of the higher steps right here. But if you use these in heavier thicker plate, you're, you'd end up creating a step inside your metal. Now you can see on the side right there the markings of your different diameters. So if you just want to drill down to like a quarter inch, you'd stop on this landing right here, or if you go to five sixteenths, or so on, so on, so on, on down the line to get to half inch, you can go all the way through. So let's just say, hey, you now I've got a whole bunch of quarter inch holes I want to drill. Well, if I've got a bunch of quarter inch holes, normally what I'll do is go ahead and use a regular bit. But if I've got just this, here's what I will do. Here's your quarter inch landing. So you got to drill through your metal till you get to this landing here, this diameter here. You don't want to drill here because that's your next step because if you do that well you didn't make the hole too big so hmm when you drill through you got to keep track of which one it is what do you do that's where sharpies come in handy take your sharpie and you see your quarter inches right here you can say oh he's gonna mark the quarter inch no i'm not i'm gonna mark the one right above it color it in like that so as the bit is spinning around, I will see the black stripe. And once this level here, the quarter inch level, has uh, made its cut through the metal, that black step's gonna be on top of the metal. So therefore I know I've went to the proper diameter. That's one way you can, a little trick, to keep track of, of your uh, steps you wanna make. Now if you need to make multiple steps, you know, you can mark one black, one red, whatever, go through here as your different diameters. But the problem's gonna be, if I go past this quarter inch, the black will rub off. So what do you do then? Well, this is your size right through here. You can see the numbers. I don't tip. I wouldn't typically take your marker and go over top of the lettering because then it's gonna make it hard to see. So this is my nine thirty seconds. So let's roll it around here. Put it right here. So if I've got my nine thirty seconds there, I think, hmm. I also I'm gonna need a three eighths hole. Here's my three eighths hole roll it around mark it right there and if you want to you can use like for 9 30 seconds use black use uh, red for 3 8 or whatever you want to do to help keep track of what hole diameter because as they're cutting this is cutting through it'll rub this color off i'll tell you what i'll do i was going to do some quarter inch holes just to show you stopping right here but i'll drill all the way through on this one show you how it rubs off can you see my fingernail right here just kind of rubs the mark sharpie off so let's do some demonstrations and one thing one con to these right here i'm not a big fan of starting out drilling holes with these sheet metal no big deal but whenever you start getting the heavier gauge uh, metal tubing whatever it is you're drilling will it work yes do they make a good starter bit not particularly so what i'm going to do first is get a, a regular drill bit drill me a hole to start this right here and then it'll cut a lot easier And what I did by breaking my fingers, it's not very smart. Because most of the time you'll cut the snot out of you. So some of you, like you said, may find this kind of productive to have to pre-drill a hole before you start drilling holes. But if you're going to drill a, a mass bunch of holes, like if I was going to drill them like every two inches down this tube, I would drill my pilot hole every two inches down this tube right here. 
Therefore, I have all my pilot holes drilled. Now I come back to my step bit and do what I need to do. And also, if I was going to do like a quarter inch, three eighths, quarter inch, three eighths, whatever, again, drilling one single size pilot hole is fine. But with a step bit, then I could stop where I want it, at what depth, for whatever diameter hole. Now, put our step bits in. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to drill down to right here, which will be the quarter inch hole, just short of the black stripe here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drill down to this step here, just short of the black stripe, because that's going to be our quarter inch hole. And then at that point, I'll drill on down again to the next step, which will, I'll just, for demonstration, showing you guys how it'll take that uh, black off there. And again, like I said, you can use black for one diameter, red, whatever type of sharp uh, color sharp you want to make. So let's drill a hole. Ta-da! See, we're that quick. Now, just to demonstration purposes, not that it really means a hill of beans to, from a production standpoint. I'm going to go ahead and drill one more step, and you'll see what it does to this right here. The reason you want to mark on the inside here, if you do a lot of repetitive drills at different diameters. You see there? Now just imagine if you were drilling a whole bunch of holes, you're just going a quarter inch, up here's three eighths and back and forth, how eventually you would lose your markings for your different diameters. And here you see our markings inside here were not touched. So if you got multiple diameters you need to drill, mark them on the inside steps right here, and you can see the markers as it's spinning. It kind of creates a little black stripe as the bit's spinning. Pretty cool, huh? Looky what I got. Some of you may know what that is. Some of you may not. For those of you who may not, that is an early model CJ dash, about 83 model CJ. Picked it up last week. See you guys, there's a clue of an upcoming project. Make sure you subscribe. Because it's going to go in that one. This is Project Rust Bucket. It's going to be my crawler toy and off roading toy. So I want the cool stuff cosmetically to go in that one the get beat up tough stuff goes in this one cool cool so everyone hope you enjoyed today's session of tool time tuesday if you did hit me that thumbs up subscribe if you haven't leave me some cool comments down below and in those comments leave me some uh ideas of stuff you would like to see on tool time tuesday so remember go pick you up a set i'll put a link down below if you guys know if you guys will order yourself from amazon or whatever cool they super handy once you get to using them you really get a kind of addicted to them. Like I said, they're not much for starting out new holes. Now, in sheet metal, they'd work out just fine. But for uh, heavy metal steel, any kind of heavy plate stuff, not so much. Pre drill my holes, now I can come back and run with this bit right here. And you've seen how fast it cut once I drill my pilot hole. But versus if I was to try to cut that hole with that, it's kind of slow, honestly. These tips aren't really made so much for cutting your primary hole. So, pre drill. And you can run like crazy with these rascals. Cool, cool. All right, again, everyone, if you liked this video, hit me with a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, leave some cool comments down below. Appreciate you hanging out with me. Peace out. Later, y'all.